Hello everyone, this is a quick tutorial because I know some of you guys are a bit confused with the whole uh, game art situation on certain UGC. So here's uh, Toy Story. Uh, can't move, here we go. So just like the PS2 and stuff, you, whatever game you've got, you've got to put it in the case. So this works for PS1, VHS, DVD, PSP, Nintendo Wii. So, and I don't know what else, but it'll pretty much be the same thing. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you how to do it from the start. There will be a download to my uh, artwork for this, in case you just want a quick layout and then copy your own into it and call it something else. So what we're going to do is, as I'm going to show you, um, so we need to go to um, uh, even VR's location, uh, even VR, yes, custom. Uh, I believe some of them are in labels, it depends on the system. Uh, yeah, uh, so, uh, VHS is that, yeah, so, oh no, 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 VHS is, I'll put all these in the um, description, so of course, you call the PNG the same as the DVD, uh, VHS, so here's Pokemon what you saw, uh, and it's called heroes.jpg, and if you go to uh, VR games, VHS uh, heroes.mp4 um, so let's get into custom UGC for game consoles so boxes let's do let's do one for let's do the PS1 so these are, these are the layouts I know they're weird so this is Aperscape which you've already seen me use so what we're going to do is is we're going to make it again fresh so we know that this is the layout right now but let's pretend uh, let me just get a copy of this let's pretend we don't <sighs> I've got this new layout right just make it like what a game full layout would be let's start with that so what you want to do when you've got a little blank layout is go on online and search for uh, Air Escape or whatever game you've got full case PS1 or whatever uh, and I've got this picture here the coverproject.com is the place that I seem to find a lot of these uh, I don't know something on my internet is being slow there we go so what I'm going to do is copy the image go in here and let's, let's pretend I don't know anything I'm probably just going to think oh it was like that Alright, so what we're going to do is save it. Uh, da, 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 even VR's location. Uh, custom boxes, PS1. Uh, let's call, yeah, that's what let's call it untitled. Um, so here's the untitled one. We know it's supposed to look like this, but let's pretend we don't know. So what you do is get a random page, throw a random picture on it, and see what happens. So let's get rid of the Aperscape one that we know works which still will be in the download by the way and call this AE alright so let's we've got a random we've got a random thing and we've put a random image and we just stretched it out so then what you're going to do is you're going to search see what it looks like in EMU VR so let's let's do that right now alright so then I grab the Aperscape I'm like, oh, that's too big. So then, what? I, then what I do is, is I grab the uh, picture of the image. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of Chrome. Let's get this. So then, what I do when I've got my case and I can see like point to point that it's just at the PlayStation logo and it's just after the ape. I mean the escape. So what I do is then is I. Grab, grab it. I uh, keep the image. That I, you have to keep the layout of the picture the same. You just want to move the image so then it's the same uh, type of layout, same type of you know screen size. So I see that the picture ends at the E. So then I grab it to the E, uh, just under the arm. Uh, 
I'll set about there. And then I see that the PlayStation logo is where it should be the uh, case. So what I'm going to do then is try and get the PlayStation logo more ac across. So I'll make it shorter and bring it more forward. Yeah. And then we'll press this little save icon and then shut it down. Shut your VR down and then start your VR back up. Let's see what's changed. And you do this again and again until you get the correct uh, you know, ratio and everything sorted. I know it's a bit of a pain, but if you care enough about the games, you'll figure it out. And then once you've figured out the layout of the first game, you can always copy another case into that layout, you know what I mean? So let's go. Okay, let's have a look at Airscape now. Let's see, it's better. But we need to do some more adjustments. But you know, you'll 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 eventually figure out exactly how it goes. So we so after doing all that adjusting, I know the Aperscape is supposed to uh, look like this. If you want full ratio, and then what you do is then is you get another game once you've figured out the case ratio, and then you copy it and then you paste it over. Like I'd grab a picture of the case from Silent Hill or whatever and I'd drag it and I'd copy it over actually I'll show you more see like this you just grab it and you drop it place over each picture uh, and then that's how you make custom cases just get a custom just get the case put a PNG in there PNG in there or JPEG the same name as the game's name or the VHS's name in the game's VHS or game's PS2, whatever, and then just copy the image on there, load up your VR, see how it looks, and then adjust accordingly. I will leave my folder, uh, my custom boxes folder. Uh, in fact, I'll just uh, add everything basically, and just in case you guys want it. You uh, don't add everything, uh, don't copy everything straight over because it'll delete your wallpapers, your posters, and everything just add uh, the boxes and labels to the things you want the posters and everything the stuff you don't have to use yourself just keep your own posters keep your own bed sheets keep everything you want but i will add my custom folders to a file and upload it in, in the comments but yes that's how you make custom ugc for games i mean custom cover art for games uh thank you guys so much for watching Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.